A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to edit text and images in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. And here is our set of examples which we, have, we will be using to demonstrate the tutorial. Uh, when we talk about the editing images and text, the first thing comes in our mind is the Microsoft Word. So, in the past or in the conventional mode, if we are working on some PDF and we felt some kind of error and we felt the need of editing those texts or probably image, then what we do, we convert the PDF file into the Word file and then edit those texts and images and bring it back again to the PDF. But if you are using Adobe Acrobat, then in that case, you can edit the text and images in the PDF itself and it has a comprehensive features. It has a very uh, intuitive features which you can do most of things without converting to Word and changing those texts in the Microsoft Word. So we will be using this paragraph and uh, what we are going to do, we are going to bring those tools because those tools are not here first. So there is two options. First thing is that we will go to the edit and select edit text and images and you will see that all the associated features or tools are here. There is another option, we will go to the tools tab and bring edit PDF and then you will see that everything is arrived over, over here. So we are talking about the edit option which is the edit text and images and uh, we are going to select this paragraph. When we select this paragraph, you will see the its properties is listed here which you can change. Suppose this is the Times New Roman here, but if you want to change to something else, you can change. I'm just choosing any text type. But if you feel this is not the right way, you can go again, go back to the previous one by Control C, which I have gone right now. Suppose you want to increase the size, you can increase the size. At the moment is 10.02. If you want to change to 12, it will increase. The Third option is the text style, where you can make it bold, you can make it italic, you can italicize it, you can make it make underline, you can make it subscript and superscript. So you can change the various style as well. Here you can also change the color. So for that, what you have to do, you have to select it first and you will choose from here and you can choose a color, like let's say I'm just choosing blue color. So you can choose the color as well. And the third option is uh, making the bullet points and in order to make the bullet points, you have two options. Either you can provide some kind of shape as a bullet points and those shapes are here. You can choose either. Or you can choose some kind of numbers, number system. So what I'm going to choose here is some kind of uh, shape and I'm going to choose this shape. So you will see there is some kind of bullet points. If you want to make a bullet points here also, just select it there and add a bullet point like this. Now we will talk about the alignment option and here we have multiple alignment option. So let's say we are going to select this still and we are going to take out the bullet points for our convenience. So what we are going to do, we are going to select none, which is here and you will see the, both the bullet points are gone now. Now we will talk about how to change the alignment and we, we are at the moment is left alignment. We can make it a centered alignment, which I think you might have seen that every text is centered at this point of time. We can make it right alignment and the text has moved to the right, right hand side. And this is justified one. And when we make it like this, it is justified aligned. We also have option of line spacing. At this point of time, you will see a certain uh, line spacing is there. If you want to increase it or decrease it, what you can do, you can choose from one you can choose either number or you can type those values. So I'm just showing by choosing 1.5. Suppose if you want to make it smaller, you can just choose a smaller value. You know, to do that, you have to select those. And uh, suppose I'm choosing 1.2 and you can see it has a little narrowed down. 
the another option we have is the space after the paragraph if you want to increase the spacing from here to here after ending this paragraph you want to increase the spacing you can also do that and suppose if i want to increase it to 40 you can increase or you can choose any value or you can type those values like just i'm typing 50. you can also choose you can just choose a higher distance you can also uh, make a distance you can control the distance between the characters and that option is here if you want to make it zero or if you want to that's a reference point if you want to make it for the more you can see the distance between the character has gone up if you want to add some kind of text here you can also add it just bring the cursor there and add text so the good part is that it matches the text with the existing text so it basically matches those texts so much easier to type and you don't have to worry about the alignment and various other options if you want to add text also you can add text like this just select the second option from there and text you can then you can play around with all the styles and formatting so that is all about the editing text in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC.